Hi, my name is Fallen Moons, and today we're going to talk about config files. Config files allow your users to modify options in your plugin to turn features on or off, or modify functions of your plugin. They're also a great way to save non-sensitive data. Spigot comes with one config file built in, though you can make your own, and we'll go over that in the next video. For the most basic form of config file, the first thing you're going to need to do is make one. So go ahead to this resource folder. It should be right under your main, uh, right where your plugin.yml is. Go ahead and go new and file and type in config.yml. This is a YML file and it needs to be named config. Go ahead and press enter. And now you have your config file. Now inside of this config.yml, we can have all types of options. For now though, we're just going to put in uh, a string and a number. So let's type in name. That's going to be our key followed by the default name, which we'll just type in default for now. And we'll have uh, an age, why not? And we'll make this person 18 years old. At this point, we've set up the default state of our config. The user should be able to modify these values and it will save and load in every time the, pl uh, the plugin loads. Now we need to go ahead and get our config file. So that's going to be a file configuration object and we'll name it config equals get config. Now we can do get config here because it is a function of the Java plugin, which we are extending in our main class. If you needed to get the file configuration file from outside of your main class, you could either get a reference of your main class and call this get config on your main, or you can just make a function down here, uh, public file configuration, get config file, which will return config. So you could always use this to get the file. Now that we have our config, uh, the next thing we can do is we're going to need to load in whatever data is in our config YML at the start of the plugin. First thing we're going to do is go config.options.copyDefaults and set that to true. Hold up, me from the future here. Uh, what this line really does is make sure that any key values that you have dynamically added through code to the config file will be saved as defaults so that when the server restarts, it doesn't overwrite them. The next step is to then save our config file. And at this point, we have a config file that we can now access. So for this example, we're just gonna print out the value of our name key and our age key. So we're going to do bucket dot get logger dot info because we want to make sure that we use the proper bucket logging system. And the string is going to be uh, the name, which we will get from config dot get string because it's a string. And another key value was name. Remember that right here, our key is name and our value is default. So let's go ahead and get that name here. And we're going to add that to is my name and my age is, and we'll add that and we'll say, we'll get the key age, which remember is an integer. So config.getInt age. Now you'll notice here, uh, here's our plugin being enabled and right below we have a default that name that we put in the config is my name and my age is 18. You'll also notice that if you go if you go into your plugins folder, you'll see a folder that is named the same as our plugin. And inside of here, you'll find our config.yml. If we were to open this, you'll see that the name we put in default and the age 18 are both reflected inside of our config.yml. What we can also do is we can change this from default to Mike and Mike is 24 years old, save the config and close it. And now if we were to reload, uh, 
uh, reload our console, you'll see Mike is my name and my age is 24. This is one way you can get configuration options into your server. And that's it on this basic config file tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in my Discord or in the comments below. Thanks for watching.